Good morning. Felt like I needed to share today with Psalms 100. This is in the New King James Version, Jeremiah Study Bible. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Some of the teaching points in this Bible say here, He is our creator, owner, leader, sustainer, savior, successor. Why do we give thanks to the Lord? Why do we praise him? Sometimes I think when we're going through things, we lose our focus on God. And we think that these things, these problems, these mountains, these things that we're going through, whether it's physical, mental, spiritual, or emotional, or relational, we see that as a giant mountain that cannot be moved. But my God is the God that I thank, for he is big and mighty and powerful. And when I put up my eyes upon him, the circumstances shrink. They become smaller. And I find that they're still there. I might have to go through some things. God might lift some things off of me. But I know that he's with me because I know that he is great. He's all these attributes. He's our creator, our owner, our leader, our sustainer, our savior and successor. He is almighty God. Father, I pray for my brothers and sisters as they hear this word. Father, that we could praise you regardless of what we feel or what situations in our path, even when it seems like this mountain can't be moved. But Jesus, you said that we can have faith the size of a mustard seed, that we can move mountains. I pray, God, for a deliverance from our brothers and sisters. I pray for joy unspeakable and full of glory. I pray the empowerment of your Holy Spirit. I pray for correct spiritual vision, Father, that looks at you. Be magnified, O Lord, and look at our circumstances through smaller eyes, saying, hey, yeah, that may be a circumstance. That may be what's going on, but my God is bigger. He's bigger than all things. He's the creator of everything and he will get me through this and that we would father keep our eyes on you bless my brothers and sisters and and provide the power of your holy spirit to learn from these situations in life to learn from these struggles to rely on you to trust you to say even if he slays me yet i will praise him like job because bottom line is that we are here to bring you glory we're here for your purpose god so god may you have glory in our lives And Father, may the burdens and the circumstances and the health stuff, may it just fade in the background compared to you. You can do all things, Father. You can heal us, Father. But sometimes there's a process of growing that you allow us to go through to make us deep with you, to go to those deep places, to stand with God no matter what, no matter what, because you are worth it, God. Love you so much, my Heavenly Father. Please bless us. In the name of Jesus, I pray this with all my heart. Amen.